it's Jody. Today's video, I would like to uh, do another floating bloom. I, I'm obsessed with them, to be honest. <laughs> I really am. There's just so much fun to do. And they're a bit of a challenge. And I always like a good challenge, uh, you know, trying to, to keep the white behind there. So it actually looks like it is a floating bloom with the integrity of the bloom still intact. So I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with these. And I keep coming up with crazy color combinations in my head. And I'm like, okay, I have to see what that looks like. So I thought I'd just take you along on this journey. <laughs> so let's go have some fun uh, doing this bloom. All right. I've got a new mat that I got from the Fluid Art Company. They're they're not, I don't think they're for sale yet on their site, but um, I got this to try out. This actually fits pretty well on my spinner. And I've heard of other people using silicone mats uh, to keep your, you know, your canvas from flying off. I usually put pa uh, paint on my dried uh, spinner, but we're going to give this a go today and see what happens. So today we're going to work on a 12 inch vinyl again. I've taped up the back but I'm not gonna put any paint down. And it looks like it's kind of stable and not gonna fly off. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna test this out and see what happens. So today I wanna do another floating bloom. I've got uh, some colors already mixed up. I'm gonna go through uh, the colors that we're gonna use. I, I wanna do like the background and then the, the bloom colors. And then I'll go through the cell activator and then the pillow. So the first color that I'm going to put down, it is, it's kind of a mutt. And I say that because I had two different, I wanted yellow as kind of my black background color. And I had two different yellows mixed up and they were very similar in color. So I mixed them together, but um, they were mixed up with two different pouring mediums. So I'll, I'll explain all of that. So the two colors that I'm about to show you are a mix of the Praj Posse uh, Autumn Yellow and then the Josonia Indian Yellow. This one was mixed up with Joe Sonia, the, I'm sorry, the Infinity Joe Sonia. And then this one was mixed up with the Valspar Varathane. And I just dumped them all together <laughs> because I had a lot of both of them and I came up with this. So hopefully it works out well. We're, this, this is kind of a little bit of a test. What happens when you, you know, I've, I've used different paints with, with different pouring mediums on a canvas, but I've never actually mixed them together like this. So we're going to see what happens. My next color is Vineyard Violet Shimmer. This is another Parage Posse paint. And this is mixed up with the Valspar Varathane pouring medium. And then I have a pigment. I've got this little piggy golden peach. And I have this mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium. And then finally, my last color is a bit of a darker purple. I'm using the Joe Sonia Dioxazine purple. And I added in a little squirt of the Interference Gold, the Golden Fluid. Just to add a little bit of shimmer to it. And this is mixed up. This is the Valspar Varathane also. All right, my cell activator, I'm gonna be using just my normal cell activator today. This is the Australian Floetrol in Amsterdam Titanium White, mixed at four to one. And the pillow I wanna to use today is my Glidden Premium in Satin. I'm just gonna put a bunch in the middle. I'm gonna spread it all out since this is a, a, a hard surface that we're working on. I'm just going to spread it all the way out. I'm going to fast forward. Add a little bit more into the middle because we're going to bloom there. And I think we should good to, be good to go. All right, I'm going to put the yellow down first. Kind of like so. A little bit of a circle like that. So we have a background and we have kind of white in the middle because we're going to put our bloom, our bloom colors right in there. And I'm going to try to keep as much white around the outside as possible. I've got the Vineyard Violet Shimmer. I'm going to put some down. And then I've got the golden peach pigment. 
I want this to really show through to kind of contrast with the, the purples. And then the dioxazine purple mix, I'm just gonna kinda go along like so. There we go. All right, and we got our cell activator. That should be plenty. <clears throat> All right, I kind of like how that is blowing out. I'm gonna do a little bit of modification. I might take my palette knife and move some of these little petals out a little bit further. I feel like I want a little bit more yellow around here. I'm just gonna go really carefully before I do any modifications. All right. I feel better with that now. There we go. That's better. Now I can go out a little bit further. With my modifications if I need to. I love the way all these cells are. <laughs> I don't mind that part there. It's going to get spun off, but let's see what happens if we spread some of the cells out with this tiny little palette knife. taking some of the color that's the ribbons and kind of moving it out
think that looks pretty good. That's that's going to float nicely. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more yellow right here, though, just because there's just a little bit less there. I want to keep it as even as possible while that's spinning out. That's better. All right. I like how this is looking. All right, I will uh, meet you over at the spinner box and we are gonna see what happens with this. All right, here's what that looks like before we spin it out. And I think I'm just gonna spin first, see how everything's coming out. If I need to adjust anything, it looks like I need this down just a little. Healthy spin. Wahaha, yeah. That's what I want. It looks like it's floating on there. That is so cool. I'm not kidding. A lot of movement, which tells me we are just about there. I love how the purple contrasts with the yellow. And I love that the white background makes it look like it's floating. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And this mat seems to work. All right. Here's what that looks like. <clears throat> I am going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right. Here is the flyover of this guy. And there's some nice subtle shimmers in here from the golden peach, but just, I got it right this time. <laughs> With the white background, it looks like it's completely floating on the yellow. And these cells are just gorgeous. I love how this kind of flows. I like using that, that little palette knife maneuver. I love all these cells. I kind of wanted to just keep it simple with purple and then the shimmer from the golden peach because uh, I knew it was going to contrast nicely with that yellow. So I am super excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the floating bloom that we just did. And it is <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> it dried just beautifully. And I mean, it's, it exceeded my expectations. I was able to keep the, the white behind it still just a tiny bit wet in the center. So I need to be careful, but here it is as a whole before I start moving it around. And I just love how it looks like it's jumping off of the, of the record here with the yellow in the background and it has a nice subtle shimmer from that uh that golden peach we added as well as the uh, interference gold i put in that that dioxazine purple but bringing it in all these just all these cells and just the kind of dimension it added and i just i love how soft this all looks and then with the white in the back it almost looks like some areas are glowing just a little bit but <clears throat> adding that little palette knife maneuver was a lot, a lot of fun and I feel like it added a little bit more to it but I love these I just love this little color combo with the purples I mean duh <laughs> purple's my favorite but I I don't want to touch this center because I think it's still just a little bit wet these microcells stuck and I like this little swirl right in there too just the coolest and I'm definitely gonna resin this this is going to be so neat resin. 
So there's how that turned out. <clears throat> Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these floating blooms. I'm just having so much fun with this. So, so with that, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had so much fun putting it together. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.